<laughs> with her that she didn't tell them that we were getting our own uh, liquor license back because they thought that they were going to be able to make, I guess, some extra money by whoever it is, the caterer that um, IEPY uses, of, uh -huh. make, of making us use them. Oh, wow. And so she said that they were like, why didn't you tell us that that they were trying to get their liquor license back? And well, here's the thing. And see, that comes from people not understanding. Mm -hmm. The liquor license was never lost. It was been an escrow. And so for us to take it out of escrow, they had to come there and, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Escrow, which is what you do with a liquor license when it's not in active use.
repeat it word for word. I just want you to have a better understanding of what role we want you to play in this. And then you need to make it your own. And you said, okay. Uh, I said, because there's probably things that I'm not thinking of that you would, but that's my way of <laughs> also making sure, because I still don't know for sure if he will um, share it. Yeah. He said it today. He was just like, you know, it's like these people who are in, you know, this like little bit of a bubble. And he was like, you know, I understand, you know, wanting to preserve, um, you know, something for the community. He said, but you got to have um, the money to do it. And he said, he was like, you know, Joyce shared with us in one of our meetings, you know, about, you know, the financial situation that we're in. Like, so I just don't know what anybody expects. <laughs> so I'm listening. I'm like, okay. But you know, it's like I purposely sometimes say certain things just in case. So if it gets bad, it's no big deal. And I saw so everything like that I've said to you, I said that then too. Just in case he wanted to flip flop, I'm like, yep, I said it. I, and I did. I was like, well, that's when I said, you know, we're doing this community update because it's the right thing to do. And we want to be a good neighbor. We want to, you know, be a strong community organization. And I said, but make no mistake. I said, this isn't, I said, this isn't a highway that's coming through and making people have to sell their homes. I said, and this isn't a government entity. We're not required to do anything. Exactly. And um, when the girl who came from Cerulean to help out with media, um, she was even, you know, just saying like, oh, wow, you know, just about um, everything, you know, like that the, that the, how the walker has been able to progress. Um, and, I, you know, I was like, even, you know, like with that, I said, you know, and, and she said that she was very happy to see. She's a, a Indian and she was like, she was really happy to see, you know, the non-negotiables that we have for the uh, relationship with Buckingham. And, and I said, again, those aren't things that are required. I said, this isn't a government contract where, you know, you are required to work with MBEs and WBEs. I said, this isn't something that we have to do. And I said, but it's what we know is the right thing to do. Like I, I said, I hate that there are so many young people who seem to be so energized, you know, like around this, but are so, but just don't understand. And Devin said, I hate it when people don't do their research. And I said, well, exactly. And I said, because there are all these young people who've been so excited and energized. They've been holding these conversations trying to brainstorm and reimagine what they could do with our property and I said and the worst part is even if they were successful in stopping us doesn't mean that we have to take their idea either right I said we still own it so they can't make us do anything and I was like and what happens is when you do that you get young people excited about it and then when they realize that it's not what they thought they get discouraged then they don't want to be involved at all exactly you know, and I was like, and that's the part that we're going to have to work on because that's what's getting ready to happen. Exactly. <laughs> They'll get discouraged because they didn't have all the facts or even if they feel like they did, but you don't have the authority to do that. Right. <laughs> well, unfortunately, there was a team of people who believe not giving Yep. It's like, you know, you know, we can't say it out. 
daughter is in a position to be around certain people because of support that you gave. And then you turn around. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I had her grandmother contacted me and asked me for uh, scholarships and uh, program information and all that kind of stuff. Which of course I did. I do it for everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, whew, we only got three more days.
Well, yeah, and if they're acting a fool, why would we want them? That doesn't even make any sense. So. <laughs> well, that's probably because they don't realize, because they haven't been involved, that they don't realize the adjustments, you know, that have been made so that that is a fact. And right. that is why she thought that she was going... It, it amazes me though, like when people tell you about what <laughs> they are and aren't gonna do with your organization. That, yeah. Because now, like, I mean, I know that that's the way that it has been written, but we also could do away with that, right? Like, we don't have to have. We don't have to now. That's gonna be my recommendation.
I forgot about that. Well, if that's the case, then maybe Nicole could do it as a backup. It, 
also is important to know does it have a financial stake? Not a, 